think it's a great opportunity for these young girl ball players to come realize that they're not alone and you don't have to hide. I hid for 75, 85 years, and this is actually basically the first time I've ever come out. Maybelle Blair, who inspired Madonna's character in the classic film A League of Their Own, recently came out at the age of 95. Blair played for the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League in the 1940s. Her story was featured in the movie uh, without much LGBTQ representation, but the new reboot on Amazon highlights uh, several women, queer women, and Blair is also sharing her own story. Maybelle Blair joins us live. Maybelle, thanks for being with us. Hey, I'm glad to be on this side of the dirt and be with you. <laughs> Mabel, you look great, and what a what an interesting life you have led. I, hey, I couldn't have been more lucky, girl. I'm telling you, I enjoy every minute. I got about uh, six or seven more years to enjoy it, so I got to enjoy every minute. Well, May, I have to ask you, Madonna's character, you know, Madonna played your character in the 92 film, A League of Their Own. They called her all the way May. You know what? Really, that's <laughs> not true. Uh, it was an synopsis of the whole cockeyed lead. Yeah. A lot of people call me that because my name's Maybelle, yeah, and yeah. I'm sort of crazy. So they, <laughs> you know, anyway, anyway, most lot of people call me May all the time. So that's where they came up. That was Madonna was my character, but it was a synopsis of the whole cockeyed lead, yeah. not just this old lady. What did you think of the movie when you saw it? Oh my God, I was thrilled to pieces. Every cockeyed inch of me, I was thrilled to death because I thought they did a wonderful uh, story and it, and it should have uh, been told uh, years earlier. Thank gosh for Penny Marshall. She did a fantastic job, I think, don't you? Yeah. I do. I love that movie. And, you know, uh, you recently came out at the age of 95. In that movie, they don't really touch on you know, sexuality at all. And I'm, I'm just curious why now at the age of 95, Maybell, have you found uh, your voice in this arena? Well, I'll tell you, I was up on the stage with uh, Will Graham and uh, Abby Jacobson after the filming of uh, the new Amazon uh, uh, a series, TV series that's going on now. And I said to myself, Maybell, why don't you say something that you're gay too? Because you've been wanting to come out of this old rusty closet for years. But I was scared to death because in our day, you know, we'd lose our jobs, we'd lose our family, we would just do everything. Mm. So I said, maybe if you could just help a few young girls and boys, let them know that it's okay to come out now and people aren't going to not talk to you or speak to you or, or think maybe you are queer or something because I don't like the word queer. I like the word gay. But anyway, that's I, that's way back then. Yeah. But that's the reason I wanted to help people. So when you were done playing, what did you do with your life after that? Well, I tell you what I did. I went to, I was very fortunate, got a job at Northrop Aircraft and I became the third woman manager of, uh, of uh, Northrop Corporation. And you know, that was quite a feat in those days. And uh, I was in charge of um, highway transportation and I used to haul the old airplanes or the F-18 down the middle of right downtown LA, right by the city hall and everything with the wings covering the wall. And I went by Main Street where a lot of the honky tonks are down there. And this old drunk comes out and he, looks over his over his shoulder and he says, my God, I'm not seeing big elephants, I'm seeing airplanes. And he made a complete U-turn and went back into the bar. <laughs> I tell you, I've never had too much fun in my life. I hear you're very active in trying to get an international women's baseball center erected in Rockford. Oh my gosh, yes. You know, um, the boys have one in uh, Williamsport, and us women need a home of our own. And where else but the cradle of women's baseball in right there in uh, Rockford, Illinois. And we're doing so well with it at Fire Stadium where the Rockford Peaches played. That's where we need our home is Rockford Peaches where, the, where it played. And so I'm trying to raise a lot of money to get that built. 
Um, we're doing fairly well, but we need more money. So if any of your rich people out there in uh, <laughs> Chicago want to donate, go to International Women's Baseball Center and press that red button and add a few zeros behind it when you do. Well, you're a great spokesperson. Yeah. And I love the glasses. Is that like your signature look, Maybell? No, nah, I, I get headaches if I get any light into my eyes, so I have to wear glasses. So anyway, I, I got these down at Fantasy Camp in, uh, for the Boston Red Sox. They have Fantasy Camp yeah. down there every, every year, and, and they invite me, thank gosh, because I have a ball down there with those who have been playing baseball. And uh, so I got these from them, and I'm so thrilled. Well, they look great, and we so appreciate you joining us. Uh, you're a pleasure to talk to. Check out the website, internationalwomensbaseballcenter.org, and they're on Instagram. And, you know, that new League of Their Own series is now on Amazon. It's a TV show now, too, that you can stream. Maybell, have a great day. Thanks a bunch. Thank you. Hey, thank you guys. I sure like it. Bye. 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 -bye. <laughs> I love her.